Hey guys and welcome back to another Tech Show video. In today's video I'm going to be doing another Windows installation on this old Dell C610 Windows XP laptop. In the last video I made about this laptop I installed Windows 7 on it. You should go check that one out if you haven't. But in this video I'm going to be attempting to install Windows 10 on this laptop. Now this is a very low power machine and it isn't even supposed to support Windows 7 but it basically runs, and since the requirements for Windows 10 are almost the same as Windows 7's, it should perform pretty similarly. Since this laptop doesn't have a DVD drive, I purchased this Windows 10 Pro USB drive, which we will learn later was kind of a mistake. I plugged the USB drive into the laptop, and the laptop installed all the necessary drivers successfully, and after a reboot I was able to see the contents of the USB drive. I double clicked on the setup.exe file to launch into the Windows 10 setup. It loaded for a very long time, which was expected since this laptop only has a USB 1.0 port, but when it was done loading, it said Windows couldn't find the setup file, which was weird, and then the USB drive just kinda stopped working. It was like all the files just disappeared and then Explorer crashed. Most likely the small amount of RAM this laptop has just filled up and that made it crash. No matter how many times I restarted and tried to run the setup file, it just wouldn't run. So I then tried to open the x86 folder, but uh, yeah, definitely some corruption there. Somehow even at this point I didn't suspect anything was wrong with the USB drive, so I proceeded to install EasyBCD and Plot Boot Manager so I could boot from the USB drive, since that's not supported by default on this laptop. Of course that didn't work either, it got stuck on loading boot sector, so I decided to try setup.exe one more time, and the laptop got completely stuck. So I decided to force restart the computer, and then I got preparing your desktop? That's only supposed to show when you're setting up a new user. And yeah, apparently force restarting the computer while it was doing whatever it was doing was a very bad idea. So it looks like my only option is going to be a clean install of Windows 10. But before we can do that, I need to figure out what is up with this USB drive, because no matter what I do, I can't get the laptop to boot from it or open any files on it. So I put the Windows 10 drive into my main laptop, and sure enough, there's definitely something wrong with this drive. It pops up for a second, then grays out and says there's no USB drive plugged into the computer when I try to click on it. So I guess I'll just have to make my own Windows 10 installation drive. Thankfully Windows makes it easy with the Windows 10 installation media tool, and it only took a few minutes for it to download and create the install drive. Unfortunately the laptop refused to boot from this drive as well, it would just kick me out of Plot Boot Manager each time I tried. As a last resort I decided to try and boot up Windows 7 again, and what do you know, it booted up with none of that weird stuff it was doing earlier. Apparently it was just a temporary glitch or something. The new boot up disk I made showed up normally, but when I tried opening the setup.exe file it loaded for a bit and then just did nothing. No error messages or anything. Researching this issue I found some forums online where other people had had similar issues, and while I tried all the solutions I could find online, I kept getting the same issue, it just wouldn't open. The task manager showed the setup was running in the background, but it never did anything. It just continued to sit there in the background. It was at this time that I rechecked the Windows 10 installation requirements, and I realized that maybe it was because this laptop doesn't actually meet the Windows 10 requirements, something I had forgotten about. Even knowing it was incompatible though, I had gotten this far and I still needed to try, at least until I get confirmation that Windows 10 will not run on this laptop. After messing around in the system files for a while, I found this setupprep.exe file that when run, begins the setup process. It didn't take long to run into issues though, the installer got stuck looking for updates, so I restarted the setup process and selected not to install updates. Then after a few system checks, I got the message I had been dreading the whole time. This may be the reason setup.exe file wouldn't run. It might have noticed that my computer was incompatible so it just refused to open at all. At first I thought it would be simple to bypass this, there are usually Windows installation hacks that allow you to install on unsupported hardware and the RAM requirement is probably not very important, but apparently these processor requirements are absolutely necessary. Even if you were to somehow bypass them, Windows 10 would not be able to function at all. And that really stinks, but I'm not very surprised. This is just a really weak and capable laptop, especially since it barely even runs Windows 7. 
but let's not leave the laptop like this because we've barely got anything done today. I can't install Windows 10 on it, but I can install Windows 10 skin to make it look at least a little bit like Windows 10. I remember doing this back when Windows 10 first came out, I just had an old Windows 7 laptop that, if I remember correctly, didn't meet the system requirements. So I just installed a custom pack like this one to make it look more like Windows 10. This Windows 10 pack took quite a bit longer than I expected, it was like a whole Windows 10 installation time, but I guess that's not surprising considering how slow this laptop is. Once done installing, we can see that this customization pack has done a pretty good job at skidding over the Windows 7 UI. I gotta say, other than the icons and the desktop wallpaper, this doesn't resemble Windows 10 a whole lot though. From afar you'd be forgiven for thinking this was Windows 10, but take a closer look and you'll see that this is more like a Windows 8, Windows Phone, and Windows 10 crossover. The start menu for example has that Windows Phone style metro design. It's kind of a weird look, but I'd say it's not too bad. It even tried to make the login screen look like Windows 10s. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's unfortunate that I couldn't get Windows 10 running on this thing, but at least we can run Windows 7 with the Windows 10 user interface. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with this laptop, so if you want to see those, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.